snipe that second. You can see that he has that full medevac up in the upper left right next to the Protoss' natural. This is definitely going to be interesting to see if he harasses with that or he just decides to let it buy his time and he can see what his opponent he goes to. Oh, he makes another planetary, so he didn't make an orbital. Hmm, kind of interesting. He has those three orbitals, so he'll probably be just dropping mules all those planetaries so he can just basically say, ha, 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 you're not killing SEVs and you're going to eat a bunch of eat a bunch of damage when you attack this so he, he's definitely going to be doing very well on the income you can see he's at 2700 minerals a minute as opposed to 1600 he, his his economy is up and raging right now especially with the amount of barracks and look at that bioforce all those marauders this is going to be a strong push this is really yeah. they're going to go ahead here that, yeah, that one high temp that one high temp only has enough st energy for one storm we'll see what he's going to do here but and he decides to pull back. He sees that small force. I'm surprised he didn't push into that. That really, that really is a enough now of a force. Now he knows Colossus are right. He's gonna have to do something. We should see him tech switch fairly quickly into Vikings. And there's the Vikings coming out. He's got Ghosts coming out. He's ready. Right now, this is looking like a very, very tough army for this. This Protoss player to deal with. He's. We'll see how well he micros this. But if once, and oh, here comes a big big SCV push let's see the Protoss is gonna try and snipe this he's got the 3-3 three, three. no 3-3 three, three out of our out of our Terran player he's, he's sitting here at the middle of the map though this is definitely gonna be a tough engagement for both players looks we'll see what our army values are at oh charge lot charge lots coming in right now army supply heavily in favor of the Protoss I don't even think he can get an EMP off no no EMPs and right now our Protoss player is is just running through this this Terran army. We'll see how quickly. Now he's trying to rebuild Marines and 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 Marauders behind it, but he's just taking this stuff out so quickly. He's trying to distract him right now, and it's working. Let's see if he can take out any more. But oh, nice nice storm. But you got to be careful on storming your own your own army there. And he's coming around behind the back with those ghosts and those Vikings. Let's see if he can take out some of this Colossus. He's got a decent surround on that third, and he's just taking out. Everything's falling to him right now. No more energy out of those high temps, but those Vikings, they're going to be able to get that second Colossus down. Down down go the other Vikings, and he's pushing back forward now. Let's see if he's got a stutter step. He's stutter step, and he's trying to kite these, these zealots. Beautiful force fields trapping in those Marauders. He's getting free kills, pushing back forward with, his, with these Vikings. He's going to try and take out that Colossus. And he's, he's friend again, but right he, now he's, he's under pressure. Minerals up and running. Right now, Chase did a good job. He did the damage that he needed to do. He slowed him down, but important to note that he still has this third up and running down here. So he, even though he did some damage, he is still doing see, fairly Chase well economically. He's going to set four. that base down again and start mining again. We should see a bunch of mules drop there instantly. Boom, boom, boom. He Also important to note that our Terran player, he's, he's leaving some marauders up in here possibly just to defend he's remassing he's got the vikings now he's got the medevacs this is going to come down to storms and how much energy those high temps have look at these these archons are so strong against file units though he needs the ghosts to be able to take out those shields if he takes out those shields goodbye archons because all they are are shields so let's see what he ends up doing here he's got the vikings up pr trying to protect Maybe he's he's just forgot about him for the time being. He's trying to scout out and see what he has here. He's going to take out these rocks so force fields don't do as much damage. Oh, and he just got a couple of guys sniped off there. He's he's watching and definitely seeing what this player is doing. He might load some of these players up into these medevacs and drop. Nope, he's just leaving them here. He might personally cloak that that ghost. Ooh, two oh, more. Two Colossus, though. Two more Colossus coming in, but he's got to remember that if he's smart with these Vikings, those Colossus aren't going to play a pause. He's going to push out. No cloak on that ghost. That ghost is spotted and quickly taken out. See how well he he kites these charge a lot. How well is he going to micro these Vikings? These Vikings are definitely doing some major damage, but it looks like they're going to be taken out before they can take out a Colossus. Beautiful storms taking out so much of that bio. He can't backstep. He's trapped right now against those rocks. And boom. <laughs> Project is good units. Good units. And that was very, very well played, especially when things look so bad for the Protoss player. He, he got those upgrades that he needed, and he just pushed right into it and took out exactly what he needed to. Uh, the I think what really uh, changed it is that uh, Terran really couldn't get off a really good EMP at all, and that's and also never got that three three upgrade. Once he got three two, he just started massing or two two. He just started massing units, and he forgot that he he really needed to start uh, getting that three three because that Protoss three three is a pretty huge advantage over those those two two of any Terran player. So we are casting the finals between